Hello, my gorgeous, beautiful friends. Welcome or welcome back to my vlog channel. Today, I am bringing you an exciting little reading vlog. About once a month or once every two months, I like to do a 24 hour reading challenge. And so I wanted to do another one. And normally I use the stopwatch method on my phone where I use my stopwatch to track whenever I'm reading. And then when I'm not reading, I just pause the timer. But this time I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way. And I'm gonna start reading at 11 a.m. on Saturday all the way until 11 a.m. on Sunday, and we'll see how it goes. I don't have a set TBR. I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow. I'm gonna continue the book that I've been reading the past few days, but after that, I have no specific plans, no TBR, nothing. I'm just gonna let my little mood reader heart thrive. So grab some snacks, a drink, maybe a book if you wanna join me, and let's jump right into this 24 hour readathon. Okay, hello my friends. Happy Saturday. It is currently 10:52 a.m. So, I'm going to start this 24-hour readathon at 11 a.m. and we're going to see for 24 hours straight how much reading I can get done. I have the apartment to myself, just me and the cats, and we're just going to see how much reading I can get done. I'm not going to lie, I am nervous. I am scared. I have not done like a 24-hour straight reading challenge ever. If I fall asleep, I fall asleep. I'm not going to like, you know, torture myself and fuck up my entire sleep schedule, but I just wanna try to be reading as much as I can while I'm awake. So once it hits 11, I am gonna start, I'm picking up The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. I am like 10% of the way into this and I just finished the first book, Once Upon a Broken Heart, absolutely loved it. I thought it was so fun. And so I'm just diving into the second one. I have the audiobook and I have it on my Kindle, so. Okay, hello everyone. I figured it was about time for an update because it is about to be 2 p.m. It's 1.46 right now. So we are nearing three hours into the 24 hour readathon. I'm still reading The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. I'm currently 56% of the way through it. I'm on chapter 27 and I'm really loving it. It is fun, it is silly, it is, is fairy tale esque It really gives me similar vibes to The Folk of the Air just in the sense of like, the way it's written and the fates in this series remind me of like Faye. So I'm gonna keep continuing that, but I also did take a break and I picked up The Vampire in the Bookstore. I'll put the title on the screen. This is basically just a little spicy romance novella about vampires and books and it was fun. I just wanted something a little bit lighter and shorter to like just kind of as a little breather in between this book. So I did pick that up. It was like 150 pages and I finished it. I gave it three stars. I think it's like a fun time, but the writing is very like outdated and kind of clunky, like the, the writing style that the author used. I didn't love it as much as I had hoped, but it was fun. Now we're gonna go back to The Ballad of Never After. Hopefully we can finish it here in the next few hours. And I'm also gonna figure out something to eat because I am getting hungry. I need lunch. I'm just trying to decide if I wanna postmate something or if I wanna cook something. So it's been about an hour. It is 3 p.m. almost. I did my makeup. I'm 73% of the way through The Ballad of Never After. I'm on chapter 36. It's so fun. And I can understand like some people's critiques on this series, but I personally am just having a blast and I love Jax. I love Jax! Jax is just really reminds me of Cardin and Cardin is like my favorite book boyfriend of all time from the Folk of the Air trilogy. And this is just giving me that energy. So I'm gobbling it up, I'm eating it up. Cardin is still my number one. No one is ever touching Cardin and Charlie from Book Lovers. Those are like my top two book boyfriends. But Jax is like at least in my top 10. Like I am living for Jax and I ordered food. So let's do a expensive Postmate haul. First we have a mango lemonade. That's good. Mango is just so fucking good. Okay, let's open up the bag. I know this is gonna look like a lot of food, but I got a kid's meal. I got a kid's meal and a side of rice. 
So we have two things of chicken fried rice. If you've never had Benihana's chicken fried rice, it's so garlicky and delicious and it is the best. Gave me extra rice because I'm pretty sure I upgraded my kids meal to be the chicken fried rice. So I don't, we have a lot of rice. Kids soup, yum. And here we have the main course. I got filet mignon, bitch off the kids menu. Yes, I did. The steak with mushrooms, corn, veggies, shrimp, and then of course, all the different sauces. The mustard sauce is my favorite. It's my shit. I just drizzle it all over the rice. This is the main, I'm just so excited to eat this rice. Okay, so I'm gonna eat, finish this book, and then we'll pick our next read. Oh my. I swear. If this book makes me cry off the makeup that I just applied, I'm gonna lose my mind. I am losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Evangeline may be a little bit of a dumbass idiot, but so am I, and I would do the exact same shit. I would do the exact same thing. I stand with my girl Evangeline. Stephanie Garber, how dare you? How dare you end a book like that? And I have to wait. When does the next book come out? October? I have to wait until October. Well, <laughs> we need to figure out what we're gonna start reading next. I am torn between picking out something on my never ending physical TBR or going to Barnes and Noble and doing a little browsing, a little shopping. I don't know. I do kind of want to get out of the house. Let me go look at my bookshelves and think and process the end of that book. I like, I, there's so many things going through my head right now. <laughs> okay, I took a nice long hard look at my bookshelves and for some reason, I picked up this. <laughs> the first two books in the series did not do it for me. I uh, actually DNF'd Daisy Hates, but people said that if you don't read the Daisy books, you can still read the Magnolia books. So this is gonna be the last chance I give Jessa Hastings, at least when it comes to this series. I don't know if she's ever going to, you know, branch out, but you never know in the future, right? But as far as the Magnolia Parks universe goes, I'm going to give it one more chance. And this has been sitting on my shelf glaring at me for the past few weeks since I bought it. And I just kind of want something that's like fun, angsty, but like light, you know, something I don't really feel super attached to because... I'm definitely still thinking about The Ballad of Never After, and I feel like this will just be like an easy breezy thing to get through. So I'm gonna start this. It is currently exactly 5 p.m. So we are six hours in. Winds in the east, mist coming in, like something is brewing and about to begin. Can't put my finger on what lies in store, but I feel what's to happen all happened before. If that means that this is gonna be just another 500 pages of Magnolia and BJ going back and forth, cheating on each other, cheating each other like shit, then yeah, that probably will happen again. For some reason, I have high hopes for this book. I don't know. It's the delusion, it's the delusion. I'm on a reading high right now after finishing the last book. Okay, everyone, it is nearing 7 p.m. And I have been slowly but surely making my way through the long way home. I do have the canceled podcast on in the background. It's like my guilty pleasure and I keep getting like distracted. So I haven't been like the most focused on reading, but I am on page 45. So we are making progress. In other news, Taylor Swift just dropped this Karma is a Cat t-shirt on her merch store and um, I instantly bought that. So even when I don't leave my house, I still find a way to spend money. Gonna keep reading and listening and hanging out on the couch. The cats are outside on the balcony, so I might go out and hang out with them in a little bit, but. It is now almost 8 p.m. and there's been a change of plans. I'm going over to my friend Lily's. She invited me over to have some drinks and just hang out for a bit. So I said I could go over for a few hours. I do have to be back. But on the way there, on the way back, and in between, I am going to try and listen to an audiobook. So I think I'm gonna pick up Bunny because I'm like so close to finishing it. So hopefully I can finish it during this time. Whatever, it's a Saturday night. Let me have some fun. So yeah, I'm gonna go over to Lily's and I'll talk to you probably when I get home. Hello, so it has been a few hours. I'm back home. I'm just chilling in bed. It is nearly midnight, so we are nearing 
hour 13 of the challenge and I am happy to announce that we finished another book. I did make some progress while I was gone. I managed to finish Bunny by Mona Awad. I was like 70% of the way through this book so I just had to get the last bit read and I'm giving it three stars. I think it's unhinged and I think it's interesting and I think Mona Awad is a talented writer but I just think it's a little bit too smart for me whether that's because I'm a dumbass idiot or whether that's because I was not sober for most of the time reading this you know you can be the judge of that but giving it three stars but happy to finally have it done it took me a while to get through that book as for Magnolia Park's A Long Way Home I haven't made much progress we are now on page 63 I got myself a McDonald's Coke as a little treat maybe to give me some more energy I'm gonna try and stay up as late as I can and read until inevitably I fall asleep because I just know judging by how I'm feeling right now at midnight I can tell I probably like won't be able to stay up all night I will probably check in with you all in the morning or really late tonight if I manage to stay awake it is 2 a.m. and I have been slowly but surely making my way through Magnolia Park I can barely keep my eyes open so I'm gonna get some sleep and I will talk to you in the morning and we will continue reading. Good night. No, oh, good morning. Good morning. It is 8 a.m. and we are awake and going to finish the last few hours of this reading challenge. We are on page 103. Hello. Okay, so it is now 9.30 and I am on chapter 25 of Magnolia Park's A Long Way Home. I just had some leftovers for breakfast, but I'm still in bed. I'm just tired and a little bit hungover from drinking last night. So my reading pace has definitely slowed a bit, but I'm still making my way through. And honestly, I do have to say I'm liking this book a lot more than the first one, so that's good. We're actually getting a lot more backstory into why the characters are so toxic and why they do the things they do, and I don't think it really excuses the behavior, but it makes a lot more sense. These books are just so ridiculously unhinged like there was just a scene where magnolia's grandmother insinuated that she made out with stalin stalin what the fuck is going on <laughs> it is 11 20 a.m which means that we just hit the 24 hour mark i came to starbucks got myself a nice little coffee oh yeah i desperately needed this mm. Mm -mm -mm. I am currently on page 189 of Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home, and I have decided that I'm going to continue reading. I'm not stopping the reading vlog. Technically, I didn't read all the way straight for like 24 hours because I did sleep for a few hours. I feel like sleep was like just what I needed to like rejuvenate me, and now that I've had breakfast, I've had some coffee, I'm like fully awake now. I am just, I really just want to keep reading, so who knows how long this reading challenge is actually going to take place, but... I'm glad you're here for the ride and I will keep you updated. It's just that Sunday vibe. I'm feeling it. I don't want the reading vlog to end. I need to be honest, the past few hours have been quite interesting. It is currently 1.30. I'm on page 235 of Magnolia Park, so I think I'm like right around the halfway almost. I am just shocked at how much I am enjoying this. Like I have made a fucking Spotify playlist. I'm listening to music. I'm like looking up Pinterest photos. Like it is ridiculous a little bit. I definitely see the flaws in this series. There are a lot, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I've started like tabbing and annotating because there are lines in this book that i'm like holy fucking shit that is stunning i love the writing but then there are other parts where i'm just like okay chill out a little bit like i don't know but this book we get so much more information about magnolia and, and bj again as i mentioned doesn't excuse the behaviors and the toxic relationship that they have but like it explains so much the relationship was so frustrating and i just feel like i didn't really understand it and i feel like in this book i'm understanding it so much more because we're actually getting more details about the backstory and stuff that Magnolia and BJ went through and their trauma bonds. Like, I feel like in the first book, it was kind of just like alluded, like, oh, there were these traumatic things that they went through, they trauma bonded, they trauma bonded, but we didn't really get to see that much of it until this book, until BJ started like working through his issues and like reflecting on it. Anyway, yeah, 
I'm really enjoying it. Is this a series that I would recommend to people? No, I don't think I could safely recommend this. Like I could only recommend this to very specific type of reader. I'm starting to enjoy it. The drama is just, I'm gobbling it up. I catch her eye to soften the blow, try to make it sound like having too much history with Magnolia Parks isn't the mounted deer I'll hang in the hallway of who I am. Like loving her isn't the first thing you see when you walk through the door of me. You can't expect me to read that and not be like, ah! Are you sitting on my book right now? Absolutely no respect for my books. <laughs> It is now 3.30. I have still been reading, but I'm sick of sitting on the couch. I need a change of scenery, so I think I'm gonna get in the bath. When I tell you I'm a bubble bath girly, I am not lying. We have lavender bubbles in the bath right now. Some coconut bath salt. We have Larissa playing, love watching booktube in the background as I read. I have a damn pillow that holds up my devices and a remote to turn the page on my Kindle. And of course, a Diet Dr. Pepper. Yep. So I'm gonna enjoy this and get some more reading done. Yay! I did not think that my ass would have simping for BJ Ballantyne on my bingo card, but there it is. It's here. I am simping. Um, yes, I love guilty, needy, sad, tragic, heartbroken, loveless men. And what about it? And what about it? He got like 40 tattoos just for her. That's literally a kink. I, look, I'm not responsible for this. Blame Jessa Hastings, it's not me. Like, why am I actually sitting here thinking about buying Magnolia Parks merch? BJ Ballantyne merch? What is wrong with me? Oh my God, is this my Harden? I'm gonna let myself live this fantasy because I didn't get my after Anna Todd era. I didn't get my toxic romance Wattpad era, so this is it. And I'm just gonna embrace it. Don't do it to yourself though. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. But I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, hello everyone. It has been a few hours. It actually just hit 5 p.m. Which means that this 30 hour readathon is now over and finished. I managed to get 270 pages into Magnolia Park's A Long Way Home. I will be finishing this probably in the next day or two. Surprisingly enjoying it. Again, struggling with whether or not I would recommend it, but it is a chaotic and messy fun time. So we also finished Bunny by Mona Awad, which again, I gave three stars. And then I finished The Ballad of Never After, which I gave five stars. I really, really loved this. I had such a fun time and I could not wait for the third book in this series. And lastly, we have The Vampire in the Bookshelf, or, or the Vampire in the Bookstore. The Vampire in the Bookstore, which was just a fun, silly little smutty novella. I gave it three stars. Overall, I am really pleased. Finishing four books, love to see it. My Goodreads goal is happy. And honestly, I don't even feel tired of reading. Usually at the end of 24 hour readathons, I kind of will feel like I am about to start a book slump and I'll feel a little bit tired of reading and kind of want to take a break, but I don't feel like that today. I am just loving reading. I'm having so much fun, which is great. Love a little summer reading renaissance. I love being a book girly. Okay, well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more, or if you don't, that's cool too. It was nice to meet you. Maybe I'll talk to you later. Bye!